Yeah, uh, so the question is, what are we asking ourselves internally when we're, when we're thinking about creating new apps? Um, that's a good question. You know, there's a couple different ways that we come up with ideas for, for applications and, and things that we want to tackle. Uh, there's, you know, we have some really awesome design talent, and I think that it's, it's pretty easy nowadays to go out and just build really beautiful applications that are, you know, something like you take the calculator and you make it awesome, or you, you build like, you know, you know, Tweetbot does a really good job. That, that Who's the company that does Tweetbot? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, anyway, they put out a suite of different apps, and they're all very beautiful, and they're all, they're great. And I, I think that's, that's easy to go after. It's, it's hard to find the bigger kind of disruptive type apps. And so when we're coming up with ideas, you know, we always ask ourselves, um, what kind of new market is this creating? And then also, what, what part of my day and, and what problem is it solving? And so I've gone as far as taking an entire catalog of my day from the moment I like open my eyes and writing down every single thing I do. And then asking myself, like, is there something here, right? So when I wake up, I take the covers off me. How are the covers? Am I too warm? Am I too hot? Is there anything there? Like, all the way to, like, brushing my teeth, to turning on the, the hot water, to, like, you know, is the temperature right in the house? And no, that's already been taken by those cool guys that made the thermometer thing. Like, uh, you know, it's like, you, you have to, like, I, you walk yourself through that entire day and think about, you know, are there anything, are there any pain points there? You know, I was really uh, impressed by... Uh, uh, what is it, Warber, Warby Parker with the glasses maker? You know what I'm talking about? They make these, yeah, they make these awesome designer glasses for like 99 bucks with the frames. And the reason what, 95? Uh, sure, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, I came up with an awesome startup that donates uh, belts to gangsters that like sag their pants and you like buy a belt. <laughs> I thought that would be like a good Saturday Night Live skit where they're like doing a belt drop and all these gangsters run up and grab the belts. Like, anyway. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> that's bad. Um, so uh, the, the thing, cool thing about this eyeglass company is they, they went out and they said, okay, you can look at designer glasses that are $400, and you don't know they're designer glasses, but they look cool, right? So oftentimes, sometimes they have little markers on the side, but it's very different than like designer apparel or purses or shoes. And so they, they said, we can make something that looks exactly like designer glasses at a fraction of the price, right? And they were able to just, just kill it, and they created a great online experience where you can map your face to the glasses and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, I've been exploring all that stuff, both like externally, like actual physical goods tied to technology. So like the Cherry guys did with like, you know, dropping your pin of where you're at, and all of a sudden your car is washed, you know, to what Uber has done to, you know, I think that there's a lot of... Um, uh, kind of uncharted digital territory. Digital to real world. Yeah, digital like. to real world. Exactly. Yeah. I think that that's interesting. Uh, you know, no one's really nailed. Uh, I think TaskRabbit is is doing a pretty good job. Coffee and Power, Zarly, some of these others. Um, someone is going to win that space of you know me wanting Ben and Jerry's at 2 a.m. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, I just think that. Um, so that's one way. The other way is that we look at industries. So we, we made a big long list of probably about 100 different industries and we went down one by one and talked about, you know, are there any pain points here? Is there anyone that's just slow to, to adopt to new technologies and it's just like an, an industry that hasn't been touched? Um, to just random, like dumb, middle of the night, like in the shower kind of ideas, you know, those are also fun to do, explore. Do you think 